Well, good afternoon, everyone. Happy, happy Friday, folks. You made it. Weekend for those of us. Well, for those, not us. This guy does it. Gets the, you know, work the five-day Monday through Friday uh, stint. Uh, welcome to the weekend. You made it. Well, folks, in that uh, sense, today's flight is kind of twofold. One, we're going to fulfill... Uh, what I like to do with uh, Millennium Aviation and fly their destinations of the month. But more importantly, we're going to have some fun in the sun. We're leaving Tampa Bay, Florida. Pretty much a full load aircraft. You'll see that in the pre-brief. Headed down to, and we're going to do a little challenged approach. Key West, Florida. 43 to 4,500 foot runway. Can't remember. We'll look it up here when we uh, do the pre-brief. So, short field landing ahead. We'll see. Hey, I did it once a long time ago. By the way, do not do what Mike, uh, Captain Mike here does. Um, you could get into a lot of trouble. I landed a triple seven on this runway. So, if it can do it, this plane should do it. <laughs> it's my motto. It's the getting out that's always the hard part. <laughs> so, but anyway, we're sitting in Tampa, Florida. Uh, getting ready to push back here and head south. As a movie once said, running scared with the original running scared with Gregory Hines, Billy Crystal. It's as far south as we could go without speaking Spanish. Today, it would be about as far here as maybe Sarasota. But anyway, uh, just kidding, folks. Um, but back in the day when running uh, scared came out, eh, you Key West is just about as far as you could go without having to speak Spanish. All right. Great movie, by the way, if you ever get a chance to watch it. But anyway, we are on the ground. This is Zebo. I've talked a lot about this plane of folks. By far, I think this is the best 737 out there. Um, it meets all the benchmarks everyone looks for that came from Microsoft because... Uh, I'll be honest. <laughs> anyway, I'm not even going to go down that rabbit hole. I'm just going to stay out of it. But anyway, this aircraft is just phenomenal. And folks, it doesn't break the budget like other uh, entities out there to include simulators. This aircraft is free. And I say better than the one for the other sim. So, undeniably in my book, better. So, let's get up there and see what we can do here. All right, folks, we're up in the cockpit here. Yeah, pretty much 737-800. Looks like a 737-800, but give this one a chance, folks. So, anyway... Uh, this is Southwest uh, Airlines. Now, there are no Southwest Airlines flights there. There was a, um, a Air Trans flight 737 down there. Probably 700 but or 600. But uh, they're now part of Southwest. So, All right, so pre-brief time. Sim Toolkit. Uh, wrong side. That's why I'm having troubles here, folks. There we go. All right. So sim toolkits up. You can see we do have some VAT sim tra uh, controllers up. <laughs> the funny thing is both uh, Orlando and Tampa fall on the line. And you never know which one actually controls which. Is it Jacksonville or is it Mijami? So we'll kind of see how that goes today. All right, for the pre-brief today, our loadout is 35,200 uh, pounds, 130,243 pounds of zero fuel weight, meaning our uh, passengers, cargo, everything in the plane minus the fuel is minus zero fuel. Okay, uh, ramp. Okay, first off, then we're going to uplift 13,017 pounds. 
And uh, by the end of the whole thing, the plane will weigh out somewhere in the neighborhood of 143,200 pounds. Again, 176 peeps. There's our route. And cost index 30, we're going to get up to about 29,000 before we start our descent. All right. And lastly, why are we headed there? Look at this, folks. It's Florida. <laughs> <laughs> Winds a little brisk, 280 at 12. Not as bad as they are here in St. Louis, but uh, temperature a balmy 75 degrees. Oh, would that be so nice right now? Uh, we're going to be taking off one right. Down here in Key West, our uh, ultimate goal uh, it's a little cloudy, overcast at 4,600, but 78 degrees. Beautiful day ahead of us. Let me do a quick pre-file. Yes, we're going to be on VATSIM. Yes, you're welcome to join us. Uh, yes, you may have ATC to deal with for some of you. <clears throat> so, but it's a nice short flight. Um, bear with me here. Bear with me. Uh... Okay, and we can do this, and that's good. All right, flight plan is filed. We will be on the deck as Southwest 226. All right, so now let's get rid of some toolkit. Oh, wait, wait, back the truck up, okay, back the plane up. Um, let me show a couple things here, because I mentioned them in the intro, and I would have forgotten if I didn't do it. All right. Um, hopefully I can remember. Uh, what the heck? Oh, <laughs> how am I flying off? <laughs> oh, got to love technology and not keeping up with it. All right. There's our route. All right. Coming off one right, landing two seven. While we're here, let's do a quick look. 5,000 foot long runway, here's our terminal. <laughs> Fun times ahead, folks. And I forgot the other thing already. See, that's the problem, folks. Um, but anyway, yeah, we got a nice short runway. We'll be taking off to the north and we'll see whose center we're under here rather quickly. All right, let's go ahead, get rid of it, and uh, let's see what we can do. Bear with me as I bring one piece in. All right. Okay, so we're here. Now, we showed you what the aircraft is looking at. You know, we said uh, 176 people, 13,000 pounds of fuel, and a zero fuel weight of two, uh, 130, 243. All right. By the way, the uh, the other uh, really good 730s, we'll put it that way, out there, um, just got the EFB. So uh, this has been here since I've been with X-Plane three and a half years. All right. So what we're getting ready to do is load the airplane. Now, before this wonderful um, addition to Zebo again, free. Um, we had to go in and actually, like every other plane, put in how many passengers in the zones and the fuel and all of that, right? Click. No cargo, 176. There's our zero fuel weight. There's that. Let's activate. Let's get to work, shall we? Wait a minute. I didn't touch the jet. Oh, yes, I did. Stand by. We'll get the jetway back here in a second. <laughs> it actually brings the jetway to the plane. My bad. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot about that. And then eventually it goes through and starts opening doors for you folks. And um, if they had the animation, you would then have all the fun trucks and all coming in. But, you know, hey. That's for everyone else, another add-on to it. Um, 
And there it goes, starting your refuel. And we're behind the eight ball already. All right, so we look up here. We've already started the alignment. It's already there. All righty. Um, hang on. Let me jump ahead here real quick. Okay, clear. Okay, we are at um, K T E A. Today is 12. So, what I do is I take the right side on even days, left side on odd days. Just keeps it fluid. And there it is, aligned. And we're going to K, E, Y, W. All right. Now, with the Sim Brief account, folks, now we talked about this a lot with Tolis. With this aircraft, you just have to get a Sim Brief account. And when you, you can then download that information for here. Check out with Sim Brief how to... Or, Zebo, how to do that and uh, you'll be able to then we just do a request wait on it <clears throat> and what it's going to say is load then you're looking for activate execute okay so the cruise winds are ready and clear perf and all so everything's ready to go except one thing again, Mike always forgets. He'll get it here real quick. A second here. I'm getting top cap ready because I'm going to need my um, takeoff date at 130. Okay, uh, trip fuel real quick. Got it set up now. All right, and we're taking off one, right? There we go. All right, sorry for that, folks. I just realized I had fully got myself set up here. All right, so with this, we're now to the point where we can check our check our flight plan. Now this works just like any other. Go to plan. And then we're going to kind of zoom a little bit here. And first off, set up our departures. By bringing in charts. That way you all can see what we're doing. Okay, a little better. All right, so for today, we're running the Gandhi 8 departure. Looks like this. Okay, so as we go up uh, runway one, we'll be on a heading of 003. Vectored to Gandhi. Okay, pretty simple departure. Uh, okay, then expect vectors to Gandhi, pairs, Maintain 6,000. 
or a side, expect uh, filed out to two ten minutes later. Okay, this one will try our best to work with the timers right so we can do it. Um, thing up here saying, no, I didn't think it would. That'd be too easy, would So there's our departure. So let's go in here, departure. One right. Gaddy eight. Sabi. And Sabi is our transition. So now, when we go back to legs, we can now see this. I'm going to do something here real quick. Bear with me. I'm just going to put some range on this. I think that's good. Actually, that's... I kind of like that. All right, so what we'll do... With this, it's a pretty decent setup this way. I never saw that. All right, so you can watch us step off the route here. I highly recommend doing this, folks. If you don't, you could end up skewed off with, without even realizing you had the route had been an error was in it. All right, so thank you, ma'am. We'll uh, get going here in a second. <clears throat> Um, so there's our initial. So you can see it right here. You can't. There you go. So we'll just hit the step button. Airbus guys, you would be hitting the arrow up. And there's Gaddy. Wherever center is, is where it's centered to Paris. And we're going out to Sabi. second I gotta pop down to catch that ex execute all right should back up that'll work okay so we're at CB now RSW so now we're going from CB to RSW to miles to Goody to Carter okay see all of those there just got to click the step to watch it just center on each and what you're really watching for folks is it just and it believe me you would have already known your miles would have been way off too sometimes sometimes it's what it can sometimes do is well you picked up this airway but it actually wanted it up at this one so you hit here and now you got to backtrack to come this way and all of a sudden your thing's going you're almost out of fuel so and we're coming down to key west there's key west vor two sevens gonna have us landing east to west so how do we fill this in well first off as you look at the uh, nav graphs charts which is what we had on sim toolkit as well you can incorporate it just basically reach out put that website in and there you go uh, same with sim brief same with uh, you know deatus uh, although key west i believe does not have a deatus so let's take a look at what kind of approaches we have not looking really good <laughs> All right, so looks like just simply RNS. Back then, back when I did try this and I did it with FedEx, we did a fly in to uh, Key West and I flew the 777. Many flew DC 10s, MD 11s down there. Oh, yeah, we were taking that runway to the max. So uh, it was kind of fun, it really was. And I flew from Memphis, so, but you gotta, it's the weight game, folks, is how you do it. This is going to be fun. We're pushing pretty heavy here. So, all right. So Key West, the uh, we could have gone to Carnu off of Carter. Might still do that. We fly it in that way. Let's do that. All right, so to fix this up here, let's go all the way to the end. Move 
Corgi. So we're going to come off Carter, go to Carnu, and then fly the approach. Sounds pretty easy, he says. <laughs> but that's how, uh, and it's got to be changed, in a, and we've just changed it here. So, um, with us here, let go ahead and get rid of, uh, well, it's going to get a little challenged. Okay, so what I'm going to do... What is... Not really sure. That's pretty uh, interesting. What my computer was just doing. Huh. Interesting. Anyway, let me uh, keep pushing it over. Alright, so what we're going to do, folks. Uh, I know I pushed too, too much. Okay. We're going to put in the arrival. So we'll go to departure. Ar departure arrival. Key West, Arnav 27, Carnu, enter. Go back to legs. Step, 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 step to harder. Actually, okay, so we're going to take Carnu. Previous page. Corky. So you can see, and if I bounce out a little further, see how that's going to work. We're going to come from Carter to Cardu down to, here, we'll get the chart up here for you. So Carnu to Goosel, to Burpee, and right on in. Uh, see some of that on the chart? to Burpee, to Kesey, and right in. All right, so everything looks good uh, here. There we are, and then your missed approach out to Chets. We'll go out and then at Atna, turn north, hold to Chets. All right, pretty simple, basic, run-of-the-mill run. That took a little bit to do here because of. There we go. Go back to map. Keep it at 20. Okay. Head back to route. All right, so we know we got this all loaded. Let's go to perfect. And we have a request, so let's do it. Now, unfortunately, this doesn't put in your v, v speeds, nor does the EFB as of yet. There's a lot that goes into that, folks. Uh, it's not as easy as your approach page. All right, so our zero fuel weight. Why is it 120? That's why. Okay, so I'm going to re-request. They're actually still loading back there, folks. All right, there's what we're looking for. Cost index. Now, for the reserve. Let me bring in. This we can do without having to worry about. It's a little little 
kind of wonky going this route with it, but we can show you the flight plan that's within uh, SimBrief right by clicking here. So what I'll do, this is it, folks. We're IFR Southwest 226. Here's our tail, Tampa to uh, Key West, IATA codes, alternate being Miami. Minimum fuel needed, release fuel. That's what they threw in the tanks. And uh, total fuel burn and so forth. Got it backwards here. Hang on a second. Okay. So that's really, a, you know, really right there, everything you need to know. Then, here's your route to Miami if we need to go. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so our planned arrival is 7.6. Okay. What I do, folks, is I put the decimal in right here, round up this number, technically 7.7, .7, uh, 7,673 pounds. Uh, there's our in route fuel burn. Now, what I use for my reserve fuel, we all know we got to get there so you don't worry about it. I think that means we're full. Let me see. Couple different things. Oh, yeah. There we go. All right, so everybody's on board now. Jetways away. Look at that. It even did that. We go outside real quick. All the cargo doors are now closed. It's ready to go, minus us pulling the external power and all of that. Okay. Anyway, back to this. So we got to get there. We don't worry about that part. But what we do need to know is how low can we go on fuel? How low can you go? All right. So. 3,581 pounds is what we got to have to get to Miami. Okay, so 3.5, 3.6. Our reserve is 3.6. So that's 7.2, 7,200 pounds. <clears throat> you could offset and make it 7.5 to accommodate the uh, contingency of 500 pounds, but we'll just make it 7.2. So let's go back down here. Uh, 7.2. Okay. Ost index 30. All right, and then it fills in your wins that your sim brief did. All right, so let's go ahead and get rid of this now. Hang on a second. Go to X and replace it with Topcat. This is a payware piece. We've talked about it a lot, folks. I highly recommend it. Profiles can be a little difficult to find if it doesn't have one for your aircraft, uh, but it does come with the 737. MD-11-767, and I think a 747-400. Don't quote me on that one. It's, I don't fly that one as often anymore as I used to. I'm back in the 747-200. Okay, so let's go to N1 limits. Oh, let's uh, kind of move this over again. Okay. I know it's way over here. But <clears throat> with Topcat here, okay, first thing you do, you'll come in, you'll fill out this page. First off, you'll select your aircraft. You can fill this in um, just like that. Uh, and then it puts in your, we're going 240 miles. I put in our alternate uh, if you're using Professional Flight Planner, uh, you can export it right in here. All the data from that that you figured up can go into here. Okay, very simple program to use. Love it to death. So now, 
we'll go to the takeoff side. First thing I always do is update the weather. It's 24 degrees here, 10, 20, or 30.13 on the altimeter, 280 at 11. Pretty much what we briefed, okay? Pretty much. Taking off runway one right, it's 8,300 feet. It's 007. Da, da, da. Oh, sorry, folks. Um, so we'll fly that heading uh, with a 150 foot wide runway. Okay, we know it's dry. So going down here, we will probably not need anti ice today, folks. Uh, but the air conditioning, that's probably a must. <laughs> so. Okay, once you have all of this, I set it for optimum, let it find the best. In essence, what you're doing here, it's as if you went through your FMC, put in all your little whatevers, send on your ACARS. It sends, it goes to the airline or company they use. They do the crunch, they send it back via ACARS and uh, with what you're supposed to put in there. Of course, you as the pilot in command, verify. Trust, but verify. Very important quote. And this is one of my favorites. Okay, so we're going to do it. Uh, we're going to take this bottom line. Now read through these columns here. Very simple. There's our uh, limit of how much we're allowed aircraft weight-wise for takeoff, 154.204. By the way, folks, out of Vegas, those of you like me that work at an airport, reason why sometimes these airplanes are delayed right here they're above that limit they can't say well they can and they try but you know sometimes it's such a huge difference it's better to just wait for cooler temperatures because of the density altitude all right v1 146 v rotate we'll do 147 v2 51 feet or 151 the margin that means how much runway 67 feet it's an 8300 foot runway this ought to be fun folks and now n1 which is covered up right now uh that should be in the 90.5 range now let's try to match this so it's to2 select to2 then I got to come down here. Hang on a second. Punch in some numbers. We're looking at 39. Actually, I think I can leave it like that, can't I? Yeah. Okay, so we've got this. And then it automatically selected climb two. If, we, if I'm looking at my departure, whoop, not arrival, departure. Uh, we had a 6,000 foot limit uh, by Paris, I believe it was. And, okay, then track 162 to Paris, maintain 6,000. So, yeah, there is a l restriction, so that's perfect. Then we move on to the takeoff page. Just click the line select by CG. Go to the next page. Okay, you got your runway wind right here. Two, eight, zero, just like you see the format. Diagonal, one, one. This is where a lot of people give up. Shouldn't, it's, it, I asked the question and poof. Now, granted, it took 20 plus years to ask that question, but I found out how to do it. Um, and it, it gives that little extra piece of uh, realism because, you know, if you're going up slow, you're going to need just a uh, little bit more power, right? For those of you that don't understand gravity, <laughs> trust me, just watch them driving. They don't get it when they start going uphill. Why is the car slowing down? don't know or when it's going downhill why is the car oh wait it's speeding up that's cool <laughs> yeah uh, gravity folks so you give it a little power back off a little power <clears throat> it's really simple concepts all right and then 
There's a slash. Now it wants heading. 007. Now, we're going on a dry runway, so we don't need to worry about this. This all looks good. And uh, you can change these if you know what you're wanting to change them to. I don't have documentation to tell me what to change it to. So, I leave it. And then climb to, that looks good, and there. Go back to our page. Now, remember it said 90.5. Look where it's put in N1. 90.1 is what we've done. If we're going to go off here, it flaps 1. 1. All right, let's look at our numbers that come up on the QRH. 146, 146, 151. You know what? I'm just going to keep them. And we're going to see how it all does. And folks, by the way, the FMC is now programmed. All right. I need to get up here and start the AP. Oh, should have been running before the people came on. First off, let's catch this. Okay, coming down, left fuel pumps coming on. APUs powering up. Okay, FE supplies. Okay, just finishing up my checks here that we kind of skipped over, looking good. All right, so we're going 1,000 feet higher to take care of the pressure changes that can occur. Uh, plus, we're setting zero for the landing. Airport is actually uh, 18 feet above, so I could actually go. No, I can't. All right, get rid of this. All right, so what we did, we just came down. We turned the uh, fuel pump on. We're still on ground power. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and kick the gen on. Lead on. And go to the APU gen up there. So now we're internal power. Let's go over here real quick. Home. And disconnect. All right. Just catching up, like I said. All right, so now final checks. We just come to the center here. Okay, for speed, I want to put in uh, 151 plus 10. Okay, we said 007. Six thousand. Okay, flight director is coming on. And we need to set our minimums. Ah, uh, hang on. Sometimes things don't go like you want. Other, the only good thing is it is set to sync over here so you can see my radar altimeter there. And real quick, uh, just verifying my altimeter. 3018. Okay. There we go. All right, and finally, fuel flow set. And 
Landing gear down, three green, spoilers down, flaps showing up, and zero and zero up. All right, looking down, uh, fuel levers are in cutoff, parking brake is set, and our stape trim is. All right, we are ready to go. We just get the yaw damper on, and. <clears throat> All right, let's do it. Not, we won't get credit for Mac Air on this one. I did do it right. Yay. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we're up on their map double check like I said trust but always verify yep we're at Tampa all right woohoo all right we're ready to go folks quick look around the plane only thing in are the ch are the are the chocks in yeah, the chocks are in. I'm kind of shocked because usually the pylons are out. Huh. All right. Let's do it, folks, shall we? Just uh, rearranging some icons on my screen to be able to see them better. And we're ready to go. After we connect. <laughs> I just realized we had not connected to Fatso. Southwest 226 is a 738. Connect. Tampa ground is up. That's why we didn't get an auto. Okay. Uniform and they are on. Hang on, I'm trying to get to frequency 121.7. And advisory here would. Looks like we have company traffic here, so bear with me. I gotta look. Delta's over there, Southwest over there. We're gonna get one right if we can. All right, am I on their frequency? Uh, Tampa ground, uh, Southwest 226. Request clearance to Key West is filed. Hey, Southwest uh, 226 cleared, Gandhi 8, CB transition. Uh, I think I said that right. Uh, flight level 290 and uh, departures offline 5374 for the box. We're ready to push. Southwest 226, we've got right. Pushing out of pilot situation, call for taxi to take one way, one right. Awesome, one right for Southwest uh, 226. We also have uniform.
Okay, folks, here we go. Better push back on the way. Down to cockpit. Please show me where you want to go. I want to go. Oh, wait. This, yeah, we better do it right. This is, yeah, southwest in St. Louis just pushes straight back, but. Around the cockpit, Taylor's driving up. Okay, for start, system B. To get that turned on, electrics. Beacon on, fuel pumps on, and just waiting on them. While we wait. Okay, all doors and hatches are closed. Ready to connect. Clear to push, face east. Okay, and finally, with our engine start, uh, left and right packs are off. Sure, we're set for the right side. If you watch carefully, connected and bypass pin inserted. Release parking brake. Brakes released. Starting pushback, and you may start engines. Second, I need to make sure. So Okay, this aircraft, they'll automatically release the uh, chalks. Uh, others may not. Okay, we're waiting for 17. We're doing it just like Southwest does, folks. Seventeen to twenty-five on your N2, and then you can add fuel to it. Oh, excuse me, folks. All right, we're just about with engines start up on them. All right, let's get that left one going. All right, we're pushed back. Okay, final checks here, folks. Okay, with the engine started. Operation complete. Go ahead and set the parking brake. Brake set. Disconnecting tail. Stand by. All right, so let's get the gen on. All right, so we're going to run through this real quick. Uh, gens are on. Hydraulic system A on. Uh, actually, we'll go to two for our ACDC switch. Probe heats on. Don't need any ice. Left and right packs on. Isolation valve up. APU valve closed. And 
Armor Oxygen. Okay. Flow is disconnected and bypass bin has been removed. Hand signal on the left. We'll and see you next time we are and ready to taxi there. flaps to one. And a few checks to go. We're going to call for taxi though. As soon as we clear, make sure we have our pins out. Awesome, there's our pins. We're good to go, folks. And Tampa Ground, uh, Southwest 226, ready to taxi for one right. Southwest 226, from way one right, taxi via, via Golf 4, Charlie, hold runway 1 Sierra Charlie. And Southwest 226 via Gulf 4 Charlie to uh, one right, uh, hold short there. Uh, did you, you did say clear to cross or hold short of one zero? Yes, sir, Southwest 226, hold short runway one zero, Charlie. Forgot about that runway being here. We'll hold short on Charlie one uh, zero. <laughs> All right, here we go, folks. Brakes off, taxi lights on. I forgot all about that runway, folks. It's this one right here. Hey, you're on Southwest 4736, Whiskey 6. We are looking for our side Charlie, Charlie uh, 31. Southwest 4733, Tampa, Guram, 107. Taxi to run via Whiskey, Bravo, Bravo 1. Whiskey Bravo and uh, Bravo 1 at the side Charlie, Southwest uh, 4733. Interesting ramp here, folks. All right, so here we go. Reject, take off. All right. Um, runway turn off lights, taxi lights are on. All right, ATCT on the transponder to. T-A-R-A. And, uh... All right. Just got to remember to hold at the runway down here. I was thinking one. He got it backwards. I forgot as soon as I went. Two, eight. Oh, that's one, zero. <laughs> Okay, we are flaps one. Insulation, everything's ready, okay. Trim six point two five. He may hand us off to our CTAF channel, which I am thinking is going to be 226, cross runway 10, Charlie, you can do your taxi. Southwest 226 understands, clear to cross 10 uh, and continue taxi to runway 1 right.
Okay. I would be switching, if it was me, folks, to 1195, just so you know. For CTAF here. Switching to CTAF for uh, Southwest 226. Uh, thank you, sir. Have a great day. Okay, we're ready to go, folks. Strobes. Tampa, comma, traffic, uh, southwest 226, departing runway one right. Okay, lineup uh, will be lights are already on, ready to go. Okay, here we go, folks. Hang on, get lined up here and then kick that timer in. Toka. Got a little squirrely there, folks, because I forgot to do a flight control check. Uh, my system, for some reason, I got to do a, a control check. Uh, otherwise, the wheel can really get really. I show it off, but it's too late. All right, let's vector out of here as soon as we switch frequencies. up 
10 minutes from departure, folks. Now, granted, my clearance did not include that 10 minutes. I'm going off the chart. Okay, so what I'm going to do here so we can go direct, uh, hang on a second, legs. So basically, I just click Gandhi, it dropped down here, put it back up over vectors, and uh, we went on our way. And now we are direct. Math. And there's Tampa International, folks. If we're lucky, we might get to see St. Peter's Clearwater over here. A lot of airports right here, folks. You got McDill Air Force Base pretty much right over. I can show it easier this way. Right there, that V shape. Right here. Okay. Again, Tampa. And then St. Pete. Oh, it's off to our nose here. Not bad. There it is right there. So again, we're out of Tampa. We're just holding at 6,000, doing our 10 minutes, and then uh, we'll be headed on up. Southwest 226 up to flight level 290. All right, folks, we're on our way up. It's going to be a short. Uh, J. Crew, J.W. Cruz, welcome in, sir. Glad to have you aboard. Sorry, it took a couple seconds here. Questions, do you have the max on x 12? And if you do, where can I get it from? Okay, I do not have everything turned up here. Matter of fact, question was asked. We'll just show where I'm set. Uh, here's my graphic settings, but I'm pretty close. Now, other than shadow and a couple of these, I backed them off. But you can see I'm pretty good up. And uh, um, so there's my setup here, folks, for the uh, settings. How do you get a hold of X-Plane 12? That's a good question. 
I actually should probably put that as a uh, quick key because I have actually gotten that a couple times. Xplain.com. Good thing here, folks, there is a free demo for you. So you can always check it. I think it's the Seattle area. Don't quote me on it, but I think it is. Um, but yeah. Okay, we just crossed 10,000 feet, folks. Let's grab those lights. We need no stinking lights. And then once you, uh, let's get through the ads here real quick, and then we'll get back to that. Oh, JW Crew's got that uh, uh, xplain.com. Uh, so he can uh, get out there and enjoy the sim. Uh, and then, while you all are at break, should be coming back here in about five seconds. So, uh, let me just... Uh, Welcome back, everyone, from the break. Hey, if you're new to the channel, folks, love for you to smash that follow button. That would be awesome. Have you aboard here on our next flight. Anytime we go live, you would get an email letting you know, hey, flying with Mike's live. Uh, but uh, hopefully, JW Cruise, you got that uh, xplane.com there in the chat. Once you get this a uh, fabulous simulator folks uh, I mean I can't say enough how I love this so much over that other one other two actually three or four I guess but, uh, I never got into prepared so I really shouldn't do any kind of talk I never I heard a lot of I heard some positive but a lot of negative but most of the positive that was in there was because they really hated FSX uh, so I actually, once I got my rig decent enough, it actually wasn't that bad, folks. Yeah, the scenery, you had to orbix it and all of this, but flying it was not that bad. Um, but then I jumped to X plane, and folks, I'll never go to anything else. Um, hate to say it, I wish I'd have done it earlier. Uh, to get away from Microsoft. But anyway, uh, but once you get into X-Plane and you get used to it and you're ready to try a 737 out, give this one a try, folks. All you got to do is exclamation mark Zebo when I'm online or you see my chat. It'll get you the link. Go over there. I also recommend joining Skymatic's Discord. He flies a whole bunch on YouTube and he will preview what's coming next and i'm here to tell you next i could have downloaded this today and tomorrow the next version would be out and then the next day another version they keep it really up to date and it is and when you saw what it could do phenomenal i say better than the competitor by the way this one's free that one's not so we just crossed the transition level. Let's hit the standard button and we're on our way, folks. So check them out, folks. Xplane.com to get Xplane 12. I recommend keeping it in the beta so you get all the betas so you can go through the changes. But if you're you know, learning it, you may want to keep it in the release version you're in just so this change could make things, you know what I'm saying, get you while you're trying to learn it. 
screw with your mind a little bit. Once you get into it and learn it, I'm in the betas. So once we get 1.0 out, I am chomping at the bit to see this, what they have coming for us. So it's, it's, mm. so hopefully here soon. But X-Plane taught 12, great sim, great scenery in my opinion, and uh, great, great creators for the uh, simulator is in Zebo. A uh, whole bunch of them. Tolis. Oh my goodness, what you get with those. Um, just amazing. So, All right, we are on our way, folks. Top of Climb staring us down. I'm going to look real quick how far Top of Climb will be from Top of Descent. <laughs> I'm thinking not far on a 200 mile run. On a three hour tour. All right, they're saying top of climb here, top of descent there. I think we'll probably be coming down by uh, harder. But still, significant. We're above, not yet. We took a flight, me and, I think it was when we were going to Alaska for the cruise, um, up to Chicago from St. Louis. Folks, it's about this far from St. Louis to Chicago. And halfway, oh no, probably about three quarters of the way through the climb to top of climb, he, the pilot turned the seatbelt sign off to let people get up, use the labs, this and that. Actually, it was probably to buy liquor off the airline so they could make money. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but a lot of us would think that. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, and then we got past top of descent and a probably about a quarter of the way down on the approach, the seatbelt sign came back on. Again, that little stretch allowing people to stretch. So we'll try that here. We'll see how it works. So we're about where I would want to do that, 23. All right. But again, if you're in your seats, keep your seatbelts and tray tables up because you never know when I'm going to decide to go loop-de-loop. -loop. No. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. MCO, Jackson, Tampa. Okay, so right now, Mem uh, Miami is remaining down. Also, folks, uh, just for those of you who are on the VATSIM world, Tonight, Chicago is your Friday night ops. I will be not flying that. <laughs> so. But I know some of you out there are always curious. And next weekend, Saturday, the 20th, I believe that's, yeah, next week. Um, and this is really why we're not in it. Cross the pond. You're going from Europe to the US. And those of you not totally familiar with crossing the pond, as we call it, um, get ready for some headwinds. That's just typical when you go from Europe to the US. And then in the fall, they'll do the event again. And this time it'll be, I'm sorry, let's do it this way. From East to West, because it's not just Europe to the US, it's Europe, it's Eastern Hemisphere to the Western Hemisphere, uh, and then we reverse it in October. Because reason I say that is, they do go South America to Africa, uh, Caribbean to Europe, uh, and I think Africa. Uh, I didn't look at all that because I couldn't fly it. It was just day I'm working, so maybe Maybe we'll try it one year, but we got to be off, and I want to make sure I'm rested. Summertime, as we start moving into the summer schedule, sleep at work gets to be non-existent. Hence the late start today. Our first uh, 5 a.m. Uh, call for flight ops on our part. The airline shows at 7 o'clock, so eh, it is what it is.
It's called summer, folks. People, you know, just like this flight, they want to get down there, enjoy that beach as much as possible in the summer, enjoy wherever they're going as long as possible, which sometimes makes early starts for the airport workers. So... All right, so we're about to go. We're about to cross Fort Myers, folks. All right, I got the seatbelt sign to auto, right? Yep. All right. Not bad. I did not want to click that. I wanted to click that. set it there. So we're crossing over Fort Myers. Punta Gorda is up in here for those familiar with it. Naples and Marco Island here. And we will continue on a more southerly trajectory. he said. <laughs> Alright, now why did I blank this? This is something I've always loved on this plane. This one especially. Uh, I haven't really seen... Wait a minute. Did I not include the camera on this one? I didn't include the camera on here. I'll have to go into settings and find it. I thought I had. Most of my uh, 737s have the uh, camera set up so I can see what's right out my door. Well, let's go look for it. Hopefully I remember what it looks like. <laughs> I forget what it is. Hey, okay, what there? It's under here. Okay. Oh crud, I hit home. Didn't think it would be there. Don't think it would be here, but you know, we'll check. All right, well, I am going to have to find out what that's called. Oh well, 
But anyway, there is a way, and uh, I'm going to have to tackle it some other way, where you're able to... Just making sure I'm not being blind. <laughs> I think that goes right there, too. Yeah, I don't have it installed on here. But anyway, you can pull up the, the camera and see right outside the door. Huh. All right, top of descent is coming up. Let's do a quick look at it. We're 20 miles. Uh... I knew it was going to sneak up on me when I did that. All right, real quick, folks. And I do mean real quick. And if we have to do it during the descent, we will. Um, charts. Charts, where are you? There you are. Okay, real quick through here. Uh, we're going to come into... Well, real quick, it's an RNAV approach, folks, so... Here's our frequencies. Our tower will be CTAFT at 118.2. Let's get that set real quick. I hate when the sun gets in that angle. There we go. Okay, so when we get uh, handed off, which would be somewhere between the initial and the uh, uh, initial approach and initial fix, uh, we would then switch to the CTAF frequency. Okay. Speeds. Let's see uh, what TopCat's showing us. Landing. 2-7. Update. Yes, this is going to be a Flaps 40 arrival. Auto land, probably 30, probably may, uh, auto break uh, max, wait, max. Oh yeah, we're going to be every ounce of that runway. So, um, here we go. Top of descent, let's head down. Three thousand. Okay. Couple of ways to descend it. You can use the Alt Intervene, or you can actually go to Descent, and it's already ju it just passed. It. We're already going down, or wait for it automatically. Let's say ATC was early in it, you could click Alt, Enter, V, or Descend Now here. Unfortunately, it's descending now. All right, 3,000 feet will end up see the arc so we'll kind of watch it uh, I really want to be as close to 10,000 feet if not under my uh, car new okay procedures not authorized if you're coming in on the V 157 northeast bound oh, which if we would have followed our routing to Key West VOR, which is like right in this area here, then northeast bound. Not sure if we're on the 157, but you get the drift.
All right, so there's the 3,000 foot mark. Now we can intervene and steepen it or keep it like it is. For now, I'm gonna keep it like it is. All right, so automa autopilot and FMC check descent altitude reached. We're fast approaching, so let's go ahead. Seat belts are now on. Oh, we're having this argument again. We're having that little argument again. <laughs> okay. Weather here in Key West. 360 at 8. 10 miles of visibility now clear. 3012. Let's set that in here. Alright, so what I've done, I preset our altimeter settings. So when it goes yellow, or we're below the transition level, all I got to do is click standard and it goes right to it. I kind of like that feature. And max. Auto brake max. Again, folks, there's a reason Southwest doesn't fly. <laughs> Actually, I'd be kind of curious because I do know uh, Allegiant flies the A319 320s. I don't know if they fly the 320s off this island. So, there may, you know, you may be able to. And no, they don't come here. I don't think I'd really want to go to Key West anymore. I've heard a lot of, I don't know if it's substantiated or not, but it doesn't sound like where I'd want to go. Okay, speed brakes are up. Now I'm getting a little more warm and fuzzy. It's getting closer to where I want it. All right, finally. Okay, what I'm getting ready to do here. First off, let's catch a transition. See how it just went yellow? You're below the level. Click standard. Of course, we're back up above for a second. But, uh, there we go. Pull the speed brake. All right, why am I in this split level view? Let's go to menu. D-Link. AOC. West. Weather. K. E. Send. Send. <laughs> Message. All right, there you go, folks. It's right there. Not a very functional one yet, but hey, it's the beginnings. like we're going to need speed brakes. All right, we're about to 14,000. Okay, folks, final checks here. Okay, engine starts, uh, fasten seatbelts are already on, landing lights at 10,000. Uh, we got our uh, altimeter set, altitude approach set. Be really uh, interested if this will... 
how this will play out. Now, same thing here, folks. When you're ready to take over the speed, hit speed, intervene, and then you have control of the uh, speed. It's like a little rain dotting the uh, landscape ahead. Other thing you could have done um, here, go to here. You could set it all in here and fill it out, and it would give you. Yeah, don't try it. <laughs> Probably. I am going to go ahead and take over. All I did, folks, was took the 139 at 40, stuck it in here for 40 degrees of flap, V ref at 139. Speed breaks in.
All right, folks, just uh, getting some final setups here as we get ready to go into uh, Burpee, which will then turn us on to the final approach course of uh, 273 uh, for this. Now, again, this is RNAV, so this is no ILS setups where you have glide slope localizer to achieve. You're just flying fix to fix to fix. However, notice you do have some familiar markings. So, you know, they are present. I'm going to go ahead and steepen us up a little. Get us closer. I'd rather fly 1,500 feet of burpee, slowing us to 139. Call it 145 uh, until we start down on the glide slope, which we may or may not get. We're getting very close to intercepting the RNAV uh, 276. By the way, I told you about Burpee. Burpee is 11 miles out. Excuse me there, folks. And you can see we're going into the sun, so we're going to have a little more difficulty at seeing the runway. So what I'm going to do is plan a 740 feet a minute descent once we hit key CY. That's going to go. this time to get us down. doesn't seem to want to be slowing down, the landing gear will always do it. If you're not at 3 million miles per hour. I got the runway there and there. Okay, flaps are full. Brakes are set max, and speed brakes are definitely armed. I 
I take that back, we may actually... Take that back. I was looking at Key West Naval Air Station. I believe that's our run. Okay, I was wrong again. I am not seeing it. Oh, there it is. Straight off the nose right here. Okay. Key West traffic, Southwest 226, approximately two mile final, 27. And welcome to a bumpy landing at Key West. <laughs> Again, remember doing this? I did it in a triple seven once. Once. And uh, Key West traffic, uh, Southwest 226, off uh, 27, taxi to the gate. bunch of aircraft here already. Not sure what's up with that. Welcome in. Hope you enjoyed. That was actually 30, I believe, uh, Hawker, the co cost index. They just flew from Miami.
think there's a spot for us right on the end there, folks. Hey, it's southwest. I can park wherever I want. <laughs> I see my spot. All right, final check. See here, I think I got everything. Is the uh, APU wound up yet? All right gonna have to do it this way folks Okay, brakes should be set. All right, let's do the shutdown. Okay, radar's off. Uh, speed brakes are up, land flaps are zero, zero, and uh, trim to four. Okay, all we gotta do is kick the APU. And start shutting them down. <clears throat> I must have flown to where there's gonna be an event. That was kind of interesting. All right, uh, what am I looking for? All right, everything shut down. Transponder to standby. We are here, folks. Fuel pumps off. Hope you enjoyed that little short hop from uh, good old Tampa to uh, Key West. And a nice 4,000 foot landing 5,000 foot 5,076 foot landing all right let's actually look at it see what we did here all 
first off, how bad was it to Mac Air? <laughs> Obviously, there was a bounce, folks. <laughs> they said I landed at 18 feet a minute. <laughs> Obviously, there had to be a bounce. <laughs> Sorry, I know better than that on this one. <laughs> All right, let's take a look up here. Let's see. Uh, Sim Toolkit. You're getting the numbers right now. 208 feet a minute? Eh, that's possible. Okay, I, I might be willing to buy that. Here's the flight. One hour from Tampa to Key West. 209 miles, 2,100 kilograms of fuel, and only 1.5 on the Gs. Eh, you know, eh, eh. 135 knots, though, folks, 139 was our forecasted v rough, so that's actually not bad. And I knew we landed short intentionally. By the way, there's how you're supposed to park here. <laughs> See, Allegiant, let me look at some of these aircraft, folks. Granted, turboprops you'd expect, but there's a A319. I'm guessing. 737 possibly a220 so i mean you are going to get these bigger aircraft you're just gonna have to be ready for it i thought that's how this place parked so but anyway oh we didn't even look at it my bad hang on let me click in again okay so pitch 6.21 that's not bad 208 and uh, we're crabbing a little bit because of that north wind we had on us. So really, overall, other than the fact we were 22 feet off the center line, eh, uh, still got her stopped before the end of the runway. And they're calling it a 5,076 foot runway. So not bad. Might have to look to see if there is some scenery that's more realistic. Why are they blasting off the other way? Is it because I'm in the way? <laughs> All right. Let's get over here, finish the flight up. I don't think there's anything to do here. Click. U.S. traffic, United 296, taxing via Alpha 09, holding short. All right, we'll go ahead and cancel, terminate. Well, they may or may not have it. Let's button her up. Watch whoever's taxi and oh, another one taxi. Watch some action here, and then we'll uh, come offline. And uh, well, let's just go ahead. And come. Well, we'll watch American at least. Uh, Key West traffic, American three four four taking off from the zero line. By the way, folks, if you pay close attention on your next flight, you'll see those numbers above them. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I 
I was talking real world. Let's see how much they're eating up. Plenty of runway. Look at that. Off he goes. Into the swamp. Oh. Alright, let's go ahead, come offline, folks, and uh, rewind this, hopefully, and uh, take a look. Normally, I forget. So far, so good. I don't think there was any part of that landing at 18 feet a minute. <laughs> hey, we got her on the ground in a very short amount of run. not bad. Let's take a look at that one one more time. Now that looked like 18 feet a minute. Welcome in, Downwind. Glad to have you. Just had a wonderful flight into uh, Key West, Florida. 5,076 foot long runway. Let's look at that again. That actually does look like a pretty decent landing. Uh, if you go to the other way, it doesn't. Let's uh, switch up to here. Crunch. <laughs> Actually, it's not too bad. All right, let's go back out. We'll look at it from how the passengers took it. Meant to wake you up so we could get you to your next flight or to the beach. Pretty much was. <laughs> Pretty much was. But you know, for Southwest, that's pretty typical. Um, how they feel like, how I always feel on their landings. Plan it and then, oh my God, where'd these brakes come from? I think they throw an anchor out because you're like thrown into the cockpit. Not really, you know, 
I felt like it was a lot worse, but now the more I watch it, it isn't all that bad. Let's see how it is from the cockpit, because this is where I thought it was pretty rough. Max brakes, auto brakes, max full thrust, reverse thrust. Yeah, it was fun times, folks. Let's see what the tower, if, how it looks from there. As Melvin Leroy would say, you never see a bad landing from that angle. You might see bad taxiing in my case, but not a bad landing. Unless, of course, you just bury it into the runway. But folks, I want to say thank you all for being here. Thanks, Downwind Sim, for a last minute show. Appreciate you. Our uh, moderator, Hawker125. Hey, folks, check them out when you get a chance. Uh, Especially Hawker, he is uh, so close uh, to becoming an affiliate. Check him out when he's online. You may not see flight simming with him, so you get a little flavor of a few other things. Plus, plus he's also working on a project. So, folks, we're going to wrap things up as she taxis in. But again, I'm glad that you all were out here today. Glad to see you all. And uh, um, there was one more I wanted to shout out at. Uh, oh, I lost it up here. Jake W. Cruz. That's what it hit my mind. Welcome all. Hey, hit that follow button if you haven't already, folks. We'd love to have you on our next flight. We'll be next week. I believe I'm going to try to get it Monday, and we're going to try to get back into classic 747. 200. So for now, folks, you all have a safe, wonderful weekend. Get out. Enjoy, folks. It's springtime in most of the country right now. Enjoy. We've been begging for this for three months. Y'all have a great day. God bless you all. We'll see you next flight. And again, for those coming out of the break, I hope you all have a great weekend. We'll see you hopefully Monday. God bless you all. You all have a great weekend. We'll see you then.